What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. We've got another hinderer today, and uh, this is one I have not handled before. This is from my older brother, sent this over to me. This is the hinderer half track. My brother's been a big hinderer fan for a while. I kind of resisted. Um, I reviewed a couple, and then I got my own XM24, which is right here. Uh, as part of a trade deal. And I've talked about that before, so I won't go into all the details, but um, I still have it. I may sell it at some point. You know, I don't know. I keep, that The XM24 is one I go back and forth on. Today I want to sell it. Tomorrow I want to keep it. Today I want to sell it. Tomorrow I want to keep it. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, here is the half track. And it's a small, it's a smaller knife for sure, right? Um, but it's like a little tank. It's similar dimensions of the XM series. It's a little bit thinner. I think it's more uh, same dimensions as the XM18, which is a smaller version of the XM24. You know, kind of call it small, medium, large, if you will, right? Um, and I am not a hinder expert by any means. So if I get something a little bit off, feel free to politely comment in the comments. So let's dive into the specs on this one. It's three and seven eighths closed, six and five eighths overall with a 2.84 uh, blade length, 2.57 cutting edge, CPM 20 CV blade steel. Blade thickness is 0.163. Overall thickness is 0.525 minus the clip. Weighs in at 4.1 ounces. And this one, because as you see here on the flipper tab, is the triway pivot system, which means you can switch it from nylon washer or Teflon washers, phosphor bronze washers and bearings and i believe this one is on bearings i didn't take it apart and uh or confirm with my brother i just you know it's on bearings i'm 99 sure whatever so i believe this is their working finish as most hinderers they come in different finishes on the blade different blade shapes and styles there is a um uh, a Tonto blade in this version. There's a slicer blade. There's the Bowie blade. There's probably others as well. This one has a green or natural micarta scales. They have ones that's a full titanium. Uh, they have different colors. It, it, it's your standard hinderer affair, if you will. Okay. Lock bar insert. Nice lock up. No blade play at all it's just super freaking solid and even though it's a small smaller knife i can get my full four finger grip okay the pinky is down here on this little flat spot but there's some jimping there so you are really locked in and it just feels nice and stout in your hand even though it's small, it feels good. It does have a forward choil. You don't, I mean, it's not going to fit your full finger, but it's not sharpened all the way to the tip either. So you can safely and confidently choke up on it to get a better grip if you're doing more detail work or, you know, whatever, right? You could do a reverse grip again. I'm not Joe Knife Fighter, but reverse grip apparently is a thing. Who knew? But all in all, even for being a smaller knife, I kind of dig it. It works really well in and out of the pocket. I believe this is... Yeah, the pocket clip is the same size as on your standard knives. These are not deep carry by any means. But they are very similar in construction, hardware, you know, overall design, 
elements you can tell that these are uh cousins i wouldn't i wouldn't even call them siblings but they're they're cousins but they're not really distant cousins um because it's a lot of the same look and feel right it's the same dna if you will so i don't know i kind of dig it now like every hinderer and I, these are pretty much sold out right now. You may be able to find some at some retailers. I looked at like Blade HQ and stuff like that, and, and they're sold out right now. But they run 425 bucks. I, I don't know what it is with Hinderer, but basically any Hinderer you're going to buy new is 425 Like that's the Hinderer number. Doesn't matter if it's XM24 or a 3-inch XM18, 425 the fire track or fire tack that's a small knife also 425 half track 425 okay whatever uh it does have a fuller groove you cannot i could not really get my finger in there to finger flick it nor can you get your thumb in here to well, maybe nope i can't Maybe you can. I don't know. It's there more for aesthetics. I'm sure it. You you can't use it as an opening option. Okay. So let's do a couple of size comparisons here really quickly with the Sharpie. And why do I use a Sharpie? I don't know because it makes sense because every single person that's watching this video has at one time or another used a sharpie and they understand what a sharpie is and the size and feel of it so for me i thought it was a great comparison right everybody's got their knives that they always use and i always use the same knives i try to mix it up a little bit but i have the core group of knives and uh, the sharpie just works for me i don't know you guys tell me if you want something different Speaking of common knives, the Spider Godelica. And again, I've talked about this in a recent video too. The half drag is actually smaller than the Delica, but yet it feels bigger in my hand. And I think it's because of the thickness. You know, the Delica is very slim and the half track is a bit chunky and not chunky in a bad way. It just has more meat on the bone so it's a, it feels better in the hand. Quiet carry waypoint. Let's mix it up a little bit here and go with something even smaller, I think, than the half track. The small honey badger. Almost, oh man, almost the same exact size. Honey ba the half track feels better in the hand because there's a little more grip on the handle. But I'm so impressed with the honey badger and my brother sent me a different honey badger so stay tuned for that video because that's going to be cool and the xm24 do a real size comparison here just so you get a good idea so i don't know i am kind of digging the half track here for a small knife it feels much bigger than it really is and it disappears in the pocket because it's so short. It doesn't interfere with anything else you may or may not have in your knife pocket. Typically, I have very little in my knife pocket because I don't want to risk anything scratching up my knives or my knife that is in my pocket. So I keep very minimal stuff in that pocket generally. So. That's not really an issue for me if my knife takes up most of my pocket. For a lot of people, it is. They want to put their hands in their pocket. They want to just have their keys, maybe their wallet in the same pocket as their knife. Uh, sure, you can absolutely do that with this one. So there you go, guys. Hinder or half track. Let me know your thoughts down below. I greatly appreciate it and have a great day.